Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now this is an update on all the amazing cactus plants that we received from a very generous gentleman called Simon. And uh, Simon uh, gave us some amazing plants that he has grown in his collection for over 15 to 25 years that he has grown from, many he's grown from seed himself. And uh, absolutely breathtakingly rare and gorgeous cactus plants and if you didn't see the unboxing that i made when i unbox all of these incredible plants then do check out the video of my of me unboxing these plants links up above and also down below in the video description happy to say that i had an amazing two days potting up all of these gorgeous 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 stunningly beautiful cactus plants and I potted them up in a very well draining, uh, very gritty cactus mix of um, loam soil. In this case, I use John Innes number no. two, mixed with sharp horticultural sand and grit and also some pumice as well. So it's very well draining. And I've sort of slightly underpotted them because they're going through, it's coming up to the time where they're all going to be overwintered now. So these are going to be overwintered in the office here, which is also my office and grow room and uh, kept dry and uh, relatively cool over the winter rest period. We have a lot of um, Lophophoras and all the other types that, that we have got here in our polytunnel that are used to our uh, living, uh, sorry, our growing conditions here in Ireland in the polytunnel. But these plants that Simon has grown from seed for so many years, he's always had indoors. So we're gonna overwinter them for the first year here inside the house and uh, kept cool and dry. And as I say, if you must watch that unboxing video to see what they all are. But there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful Lophophora, commonly known as the peyote cactus here. Lots of different varieties, all sown from seed from Simon and uh, absolutely breathtaking. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely spectacular. Some amazing areocarpus here as well. And uh, top dressed it all with a lovely sort of pumice top dressing as well. So these are going to be kept cool, at, well, cool as they can be in my office anyway, and dry until the, the following spring. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow Lophophora, commonly known as the peyote cactus, links up above to a video I have made on how to care for and grow Lophophora, and also down below in the video description as well. And also if you want to see a complete tour of our of our Lophophora peyote collection, um, obviously excluding these because these have recently been added, then do check a video I've made on uh, our Lophophora um, cacti collection, common known as the peyote cactus, links up above and down below. I'm going to be making an update care video on how to care for Lophophora, the peyote cactus as well in the, in the coming weeks because um, that, di that video was very sort of brief and I want to do a much more in-depth one. But uh, if you want to know all these different types of uh, cacti the Lophophoras are, then do check out the unboxing video because I've got them all labelled in there. But there's many different types as well um, of other rare cacti, Epilia lantha and Micromeris as well here, so gorgeous. And uh, Ariocarpus as well here and the uh, Strombo cactus there. Just absolutely spectacular. So these gonna be, this is in front of my south facing window here in my office and grow room. So they're gonna get, as you can see, the sun is coming right onto them now, right down the back of the table. So I'm gonna get plenty of sun, natural sunshine as well. And I also have the, the Mars Hydro grow light and also the Spider Farmer grow light as well that I can have on as additional light on the cloudy days. So they're gonna overwinter very well here in my um, office and grow room. And that's the update on them, guys. And. Uh, I have to say, Simon, again, thank you so much for these amazing plants. Very, very, very special, I have to say. Uh, just breathtaking here. Koi panther macromeris as well. These are all very rare type of cacti. And the fact that Simon has grown these from seed and they've only ever been in his uh, apartment, um, never been outdoors or outside at all, is just extra special. And that's why we're going to be overwintering these indoors just for this year. These are most of these cacti, in fact, all of these cacti are very cold hardy. They'd have no problem overwintering normally in the polytunnel. We have a polytunnel where we have loads of our other um, Lophophora cacti that overwinter very well outdoors in the polytunnel. But we have a heater that comes on so it never ever drops below 5C, 41 degree Fahrenheit in there. But because these have been grown indoors, um, from seed, we're going to overwinter them the first year here, the first winter, I should say, 
indoors and then they should be fine next year. And if you want to see, say, a complete tour of our uh, Lafa 4 collection, then links up above and down below in the video description of some videos on that and also care videos on uh, Lafa 4 as well. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow um, and care for cacti and succulents, then do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe for almost daily videos on cacti and succulents. And I've got loads of care videos on different types of cacti and succulents coming up for the um, upcoming winter months. So do, uh, do check them out and make sure that you um, click that notification bell. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all your support. And again, Simon, thank you for these amazing, very, very beautiful cacti that are going to be very well loved and cared for. And I want to send everybody loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Gorgeous.